Why do you want to be traded? Um, so like it's my time. You know, I gave uh, the city, organization, fans, you know, um, everything I feel like I could. Um, don't know how long I'm going to play this game. Um, people's careers are short. You know, and I feel like it's my time to move on. Was there was an the ultimatum issued about uh, wanting to go to the Lakers? <laughs> no, I never gave a... New York, my representation never gave Pelicans, you know, a, a destination or, or anything. So I'm not sure where that's coming from. Uh, maybe the connection, you know, with my representation, but he never gave a um, Pelicans a, a destination. So you would be willing to play elsewhere other than <laughs> in one place? It's really not. It's on the Pelicans. Um, Anthony, did you and your representation talk about the fact that if you're, if you're not traded by the deadline, you potentially may have to sit out the rest of this season and won't be able to play? Uh, my intentions is um, to play. Um, I've been working to get my finger back healthy. Um, obviously, um, it's a tough situation, but you know, my intention is to, to still play. Um, and when I'm able to play, um, I plan on suiting up. What was the thought process of making your, your request public? Um, all those questions. Um, you, know, you contact my agent. He's, you know, he's more than happy to uh, inform you guys on that. Was the, the timing, um, obviously, that was, was that when the decision was made or had you thought about that before and just where it just became the time to do the time it? Time of the of, of, of announcing your uh, request. Had you made up your mind before that, or was it just it, there was a realization and then you had the conversation? Um, obviously, you know, you, you think about stuff, um, and, you know, we just felt like, you know, that time, obviously the day wasn't, you know, planned. And honestly, you know, my reputation didn't you know, drop the story or leave the story or anything like that. Someone else had gave it to a reporter, a reporter called my agent and you know, asking if it's true. So um, we never wanted to leak it to the media. Um, wanted to do everything in-house, but, um, but that, that wasn't on us. Was the timing determined to uh, get a trade before the uh, All-Star, I mean, before the deadline? Uh, I just thought, you know, doing it sooner than later, um, not just for myself, just out of respect for the organization. Um, Ms. Benson, um, they've done everything for me, um, the fans, the community. Um, so giving them an opportunity and enough time to be able to make a decision for the organization. Was it where anything in particular that happened that made you say, okay, now's the time to make the request? Or was no. it where, when and why did this organization not give you the confidence that you could win a championship here, that you could win uh, at a high level? Like you said, you know, that you, that's the reason that you wanted to leave. Um, like I said, I just feel like it's my time, you know, and it's just as simple as that. Does it feel... And they, was it just the losing? I mean, you can't point to a specific date because you, you came in this season talking about how you wanted to see the season through. You were sure. focused on this team winning and carrying it all the way through 82 sure. games. For sure. Um, you know, so I had high hopes. You know, I, when you, you know, play somewhere for a long time, you know, um, seven years, you know, six and a half, I guess. Um, you know, this, this all you know, this all I know is New Orleans. Um, like I said, um, you know, I always talk about just winning, um, and for me, you know, I just I just feel like it's my time. Um, you know, like I said, you don't know how long you're gonna play this game. You know, and I feel like I'm in my prime right now. I'm playing at elite level, and you know, I think that um, you know I want to make sure that I take advantage of that. Did Did what happened this year have any influence? The disappointment of this year so far have any influence as to? how you felt about this situation long term? Um, not necessarily. Um, you know, somewhat, but like I said, for the most part, you know, just think about my career and, you know, my future, um, you know, your legacy, um, well, my legacy, and doing what's best for me. How much does legacy matter to you? Um, a ton. You know, I've had that question before, legacy over money. And, um, my about legacy, you know, the money comes and goes, you know, when I get done playing or leave this earth, you know, what is my legacy going to be? You talked to me if your relationship with the city, with the fan base, was there any concern about this coming public and the way people kind of would react to you? No, um, I mean, I'm not sure, but 
and I feel the uh, fans and the uh, community uh, will always love them. I hope so. Um, I can't read people's minds, but um, obviously when you when you some when you play for some, you know, for a team, I said for seven years, you know, you got tossed to the city. You know, I've done so much for the city. Um, you know, this is this is always be home. I always have a place in my heart for the city. Um, fans always been there for me, supporting me. Um, so yeah, I mean, of course it was tough, but at the same time, you know, I had to think about you know, myself and my future and my career and, and move forward. There are people, there are people that may say that there are outside forces helping you steer this decision. Do you want to clarify that this is your decision and no one else's? Yes. Um, I gave my representation the ability to speak on my behalf on a, um, to the organization. So that's that. Anthony, when you switched reputation, or when you switched representation, was this something that, that you thought you were already no. leaning toward with your next contract? No. Drew has been a guy who's been your constant, basically. Um, most of your teammates, year in and year out, you had a lot of fl uh, flux there. Um, <clears throat> and he said, you know, 90% of the reason he stayed was because of you. How's Obviously, I don't think your relationship changes, but um, how was that conversation with him when you made the decision? And then how do you feel just, um, you know, knowing that you two will be split apart? Um, it was tough. Of course, like you said, Drew's been you know, my wingman for the last four or five years. So um, out of respect, you know, I definitely want to you know, inform him um, before he find out from someone else. Um, it's a tough conversation, you know, it's, you know, but as men, you know, if you want to do something, you know, it's confident that needs to be had. So um, it was a tough conversation, but um, I'm pretty sure he, he mm -hmm. understands. I, I don't know what he told y'all or whatever, but um, no, it was open him saying. Anthony, you. since you're trying to get to a place where you can win a championship, why wouldn't you give the Pelicans a list of destinations to try and ensure you go somewhere better than this? Um, you know, that's that's on the Pelicans organization. You know. Um, never gave him a timetable, never gave him a destination. Um, you know, like I said, I want to, um, the Pelicans gave me nothing but respect, you know, and the um, the entire organization. And um, I feel like I, you know, need to do the same thing for them. Um, mm -hmm. And so they, you know, I want to do it now just for the simple fact that they have enough time to, you know, make the best decision, best decision for the organization. Because you can be a free agent in 2020, is that why maybe you don't give them a, a, a list of teams where you can, I mean, you can basically pick what you want to go in a year and a half anyway. Um, no, nah, um, it was just the way I wanted to do it. Awesome. What, what did you think of the league finding you? Were you surprised by that? Yeah, it is what it is. Awesome. What, Can't do anything about that. What were the shortcomings here? Why do you think this team could never get to a point where you could envision a championship, why you uh, the probably can't. I mean, I'm not sure. I just feel like it's, it's my time. This is has nothing to do with organization, um, teammates, fans, community, nothing. This is this is this is me. This is, this is my decision. Um, it's something I want to do. Have you spoken to Mrs. Benson? Has she spoken to you since Monday when all this happened? Um, indirectly. I mean, she came into the locker room a couple times and asked me how my finger was doing, but um, about the stuff going on now. How do you strike the balance for the remainder of the time you're here? Because you're kind of on the team, but I'm I'm going to remain professional. I mean, uh, I'm still on a contract here. I'm, you know, I still come with you guys to practice, sitting on the bench, locker room. Um, and I said I'm still on a contract until you know, I get traded. What did you make? Uh, I don't know if you noticed just your image being removed from promotional, certain promotional material. You know, the jumbo song. Yeah. yeah. Um, I get it. I mean, it's there's nothing I can control, you know. Um, the team had, you know, uh, something in mind. They went with it. I don't think it was supposed to be like that, from what I was told. But um, there's nothing I can really do about it. I guess overall, what was that experience like being in the Spooky King Center for the first time since the request came out? I guess where people kind of yelling stuff at you, or I guess what was that? Um, yeah, um, people were yelling stuff, um, signs, everything. Um, in the beginning it was a little, I mean, you didn't know what to, I didn't know what to expect, but like I said, I'm still on the contract with this team. I'm still going to go out there and, you know, you know help these guys, my teammates, and um, but until, until I get traded, you know, I'm on the contract, so I have to 
go out there and steal some points. And I guess people kind of see the video of like you in Houston at the end of the game helping the coaches and people kind of say, how, how can you compartmentalize? I want to leave, but I still support these guys. I guess how. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to remain professional. I mean, I've never done, done anything to not show my professional side. And um, the organization has been professional to me. And you know, until you know, my time ends here, that's what I'm going to continue to do. How close do you are? Do you think you are to coming back? How's the hand feeling? Uh, the hand feels better. Um, whenever you know, I get cleared to play, I like I said, intend on playing. Um, but hopefully, within the next couple of days, um, you know, hopefully, actually after the game tomorrow, I can get reevaluated, evaluated, and you know, go from there. Would you understand the decision if if you are healthy and the fear of you potentially getting injured while you've requested a trade if they decided not to play you when you're healthy? No, when that time comes, you know, we talk about it, but, you know, I talk to Alvin, um, you know, about the same thing, you know, that when I'm ready to play um, and they clear me to play, then, you know, of course, I want to be on the floor. Are you surprised that you didn't have more? I mean, considering you, know, you called yourself the most dominant player in the league and those kinds of things, are you surprised that there wasn't more success here as far as wins and losses and playoff series and all those kinds of things when you look back at, at this whole last um, six years? I said the team has just been, since I've been here, we've just been injured. Um, but like I said before, you never know what kind of team that you know you can have. But um, I still believe I'm the most dominant player, and I, um, I'm going to showcase that as long as I'm on the floor. Has anything emotionally happened yet? Like when you walk out, do you feel like this may be the last time I'm walking out? When you kind of pull into your house, it may be, you know, a huge change. Has you kind of reminisced about any of that? Um. When you're here for seven years, you have a lot of memories, um, good and bad. Um, and, you know, for me, living in the moment, taking one day at a time and we'll see what goes from there. What would you say would be the moment that you, one of those moments as a player that you'll take with you as your proudest moment with the Pelicans and what was probably the most difficult time you had here? Um, I think that's our playoff experience, um, especially last year team we had, uh, how much fun we had, um, and then, you know, me also just getting, it's not only a playoff series win, but a playoff game win, um, and then it's just been difficult just uh, not knowing you know, what we better had, you know, um, each year. Do you ever think about uh, if things would be different, say, if the DeMarcus injury didn't happen, happen last year, or things go different this past summer? All ifs. It's all ifs. You never know. Hey, so some teams, you know, could take the approach that the players express they're no longer invested in our future, and we should focus on the guys who might be. And that, could you understand that, or are the Pelicans? It's, say a, it's, it's not their approach to do that. They want you. To um, they're talking to my representation. I'm not sure what what their mindset is, but at the end of the day, it's a business. You know, um, if that's what they want to do, then have every right to do it. Um, but I just want to let them know that, you know, when I'm ready to play and able to play. I'm ready to suit up. Cool. Thanks, Thanks.